Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to another process video. In today's video I want to share with you how I created these interactive swing cards. I have made a few of these cards in the past, but I want to share with you once again how easy these cards are to make. For my cards today I'm using products from the latest Honey Bee Stamps Happy Bee Day release. As soon as I saw the images from the Oh My Whisker stamp set, I knew they would be perfect to create swing cards. I also used the coordinating dies for the Oh My Whisker set and the perfect sentiments to stamp on the front of my cards. To add the cute little paw designs onto my balloons, I used the Friends Forever stencil set. And the clouds and the sun that I used come from the new Rainbow Wishes stencil set. Now to create the swing mechanism, you're going to need two circle dies, one larger than the other. And you're also going to need a spins or a slide disc, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a small button that's flat. Unfortunately, when I created my cards, I was not filming. So for the sake of this video and to keep it simple and um, quick, I'm just going to show you exactly what I did to create the cards without all the coloring and decorating. So as you just saw there, I'm just gluing the little kitty to the end of the string. And then I'm just gonna take a marker and draw in the string so it looks like the kitten is actually holding on to the kite string. Now let's just pretend for a second that this is my decorated cloud background that I have already die cut and stamped my sentiment onto. And then what you're gonna do is take your small circle die and place it where you want the swing mechanism to swing from. Now if you don't have a circle die that's small enough, you can use your crocodile or a hole punch um, to create the opening just so that it's big enough for the spin disc to uh, fit in or a small small button. So for my first example, I'm just going to take the larger uh, circle die and die cut two circles. That's what you'll need, one for the front to hold the disc in place and one to add to the top to secure everything together. If you're interested in seeing other examples of swing cards that I have made in the past, make sure you check out the links below. Now that the spin mechanism is all glued together, all that's left to do is glue your image covering up that circle die cut. And that's how easy it is to create a swinging element. Now I also wanted to show you how to create the mechanism using a button. As you can see, the steps are the exact same. So if you don't have a swing disc, you can easily replace that with a flat button, which is actually the method I prefer to use most as the button is a little bit bigger than the spin disc and there is more surface area for my glued elements to stick to. Now if you wanted to, you could glue this directly onto your card base, but the cat would not swing freely. You would have to use your finger to move the cat back and forth. If you want to make the cat swing freely, you have to add foam tape. Just avoid adding any foam around the mechanism area. And that's pretty much how you create an interactive swing card. I hope you've enjoyed today's quick tutorial on how to create these swing cards. If you have any questions in regards to the cards that I made or the details that I added to them, make sure you leave them in the comment section below and I will try to do my best to answer them. For more inspiration using these products, visit Honey Bee Stamps blog. Thank you all for stopping by and spending some time with me today. And until next time everyone, happy crafting. Bye.